been looking through my books today, just kind of like picking them up and looking through. Sometimes I do that if I just don't feel like stitching and I just want to have a little bit of inspiration time or thought time. So this is a tiny little sketchbook and there's very few pages in this fold. It's only about six inches high. So I just thought I'd show you because it's quite sweet, quite useful really. And it's mainly just colour studies. Um, it says on there, inspiration from a stained glass door. So what I've done there is just looked at the stained glass door and tried to pick out the colours that I saw in there. Different sizes of, of the colour swatches because obviously a big purple next to a big green looks a lot different to a small purple next to a small green. So it's just playing with colour really and looking at the different effects depending on the scale of each colour. And then I like this page, this next page. I'd forgotten about this one. I really like this. I may work in this book some more at the weekend. Oh, it's not this page, but it's the next one. But still, this is a stamp when I went to Holland. Went to Amsterdam. So I've tried to pick the colours out of the stamp in different scales. Going down. Okay. So like, there's blue in the stamp and there's like sand and black and a little tiny bit of red. So I've got a very fine red line in there. And then over here, this is a section of a postcard that I just cut up, just chopped it randomly and tried to mimic the colour and the scale of the colour on the other side of the page. And this is the page that I like. This is a piece of paper up the middle, torn paper. I don't know where I got it from actually, it was probably a piece of wrapping paper or something. And then just colour matching um, on either side with a bit of watercolour. I'm not the best painter in the world, I probably surfaces aren't that good but you get the idea and then this bit I really really like this bit um, this is a postcard chopped up and then a matching colour study all the way down here where I've like put the blue next to the blue and the red next to the red and the brown next to the brown and the black next to the black all the way down and then a thread wrapped card I love wrapping cards with thread it does take up a lot of thread you use a lot of thread doing this but it looks so effective and so I've tried to colour match the thread with the strip of paint I mean I think that's quite obvious there that they run together and then over here another part of the same postcard over here a thinner strip but you can see from this area here and this area here this area here but they're from the same image and then just a very basic colour study going on there I've kind of like added an extra bit to the page so that folds in That's, I really like that page and then here I've got some tartan wrapping paper and just doodled this is pencil um, just doodled done some cross hatching to match the pattern on the tartan colour studying, making lines, making marks, it does inform your work, it does keep your brain ticking in that kind of that kind of mode. And then some painted card here woven together to get an effect of maybe tartan, not very well colour matched, but you know you get the idea. It was a valuable exercise. And then again the same as the painted card that was woven. I've done that here with woven threads onto card and then this is just I haven't done any work on here I've just put some Celia Burtwell cloth in here a couple little swatches of cloth with the labels and I was possibly going to work on that and develop that a bit more but that's so that's all that's in that book for the minute but I may work some more in this this weekend if I get half an hour where I just feel like I want to doodle could maybe extend this page and add something to that so there, that's just a tiny little sketchbook I found and I wanted to share it because I'm so happy that I found it. I mean, I always knew I had it, but if it's not in your face all the time, you're not necessarily conscious of it all the time. So I hope you like that.